Hello, my name is Ulpo Siponen. I'm a class teacher from Finland and I want to show some ideas about distant teaching with you. Games. Well, don't forget the games. You can play almost all the games you play at school also online. You just have to think a little bit differently. Well, we just had the 1st of May party. Well, you can see the balloons. And um, we played many games. We, for example, uh, put place an object, any kind of object near the camera and the others had to guess what it is. We showed just a little bit of the object and they had to guess. Then we played guess who game and they could uh, ask questions about who is the chosen one and um, I first studied it and then I gave the turn to someone else. Different online programs, um, these video programs like uh, Meet, Zoom and Teams give different uh, possibilities. You can use the chat room also for, uh, for playing the games. For example, the kids may ask questions or make suggestions through the chat. Or they can lift up their hand and you, you see who wants to have the turn. Um, some some ideas of common games um, that, that work very well online. Simon Says, you know the game. There's a leader who says Simon Says and then um, Simon Says a movement or something they have to do, an action they have to do. And if, if you say Simon Says, they have to obey. But if you just say the action only, then they don't need to do anything. But if someone does, so that person either drops out or is the next Simon. Um, pantomime, you can do lots of miming in, in, in languages as well. You can do it very well online. And then find something. They have to go and find something um, either in your own language or if you use it for languages, so in that language. And they have to go, they run away from the camera and then they come back with the object and there they have it. And uh, I heard a very nice version of this, uh, that uh, first you bring just one object, then you come with two objects, then you come with three objects, then four and five and, and, uh, and, and they see how many objects at maximum they, they can bring. Not the same object, but different, every time a different object. Uh, online there are pages uh, from people who have gathered games, so if you put games and distant teaching or distant learning, you certainly will find pages of nice games. Um, but a couple more tips. Um, making a story, you can make a story together, or a story with just adjectives if you are practicing, for example, adjectives, or you can um, find words. Uh, that begin with the same letter exactly as you do in the classroom. They are all possible online. Just use your creativity. You are creative, you are teacher, so no problem. Just think differently. Everything is possible. And um, well, dancing, of course, or moving, you know, the frozen game, freeze, when you have to freeze when the music stops. Yes, it's possible online. You can you can have a sports lesson online. Dancing when there's music and when the music stops, you have to freeze. Oh, the magic box or a magic bag. You have something, they have to guess. And they can, um, and they must make questions. The kids must make questions about, uh, about the object, what teacher has in the magic box or in the magic bag. Well, guess, guess what it is. So you can ask only questions that I answer yes or no. And then finally, well, is it soft? Yes, it's soft. Um, is it a um, toy? Kind of. Uh, is it an animal? Mm, yes. Oh, it's a, it's a cat. It's a toy cat. <laughs> Caution. Okay, so games. Don't, uh, don't forget games and make the learning fun, at least sometimes. Many of these games were from a 
webpage called Fun for Spanish Teachers, games for online distance teaching, but all these games go for all languages and situations, and probably you knew most of them. And of course, our dear Pinterest has lots of ideas, 20 plus games to play on video calls, and 30 plus games you can play over video chat, so you name it, they have it.